Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen the various data types used in Python and uh, the variables and identifiers and also we have seen the rules to be followed while uh, creating a variable name and then uh, the, how to assign a value to the variable so what is the declaration so why the declaration part is not required in python and then uh, the multiple assignments in python and how to write the comments in python and in this session let us have a look on the input and output statements used in python program input and output so input function or a statement output function or a statement so in C language the input function is scanf function so here the scanf function is used to read the input from the user at the time of runtime right so here similar to the scanf here also we will use a one function for reading the input from the user at the runtime right so that is the input function itself sorry input function so this is used to read the data from the user at the time of execution that is the runtime runtime initialization can be done by using input function and output function as we have seen in the c language the printf statement is the output function here also there is a output function that we call it as a print print function so eliminate the f right so print function and input function so input is used to read the input print is used to display the output right so similar to scanf in c similar to printf in c now here so in C language so as there is a declaration before using the variables so there are different data types and there are different type specifiers so by using those type specifiers we will read the data and here there are no separate declaration part so by using this input statement always the user reads the string data that means so always whatever the input taken by the uh, user will be in the form of strings so as we know a strings are a group of characters so in our computer programming everything in a keyboard will be treated as a character so which we are followed in the C language itself so alphabets A to Z uppercase letters and lowercase letters and special symbols and also the numeric data 0 to 9 and enter space and every button in the keyboard will be considered as a character so obviously the string is a group of characters so here 55 can be a number or a character right so here if a is equal to 55 this will be treated as a number if a is equal to 55 that means if 55 is enclosed in double quotes that 55 will be considered as a character so 5 5 two fives so we should not call it as a 55 5 5 next here in this python programming the input function always reads the string data so the input will be always string so if you want to perform some addition or some multiplication or some arithmetic operations so we need to convert this string into particular data type so that we call it as a type conversion 
right so here also there are different type conversions so there are different functions so it, it is uh, very simple to convert this any uh, from any data type to any any data type so type conversion is very simple in python so there are all built built in functions right so always the input will be in a string so here also in the input whatever the information we are writing in between the double quotes will be considered as a normal text so the same as a printf statement so text in double quotes will consider as normal text and displays display on the output screen right for example if you want to write input some a is equal to input enter number a is equal to a is equal to input enter number so here the text is written in between two double quotes so at the run time if the user uh, pressed some five as input a is equal to five will be i mean five will be assigned to a here five is a string right here five is treated as a string because the input function always takes the string as a input right so if the user enters some abc this is also a string if user enters some 3.4 this is also a string so it will treat it as a string so whatever the data the user enters at the runtime that will be considered as a string right so and whatever the text we are writing in between the double quotes in the input function will be directly displayed on the output screen so in the screen it will be displayed as enter number and if the user prints 5 f5 will be assigned to a if user prints abc abc will be print assigned to a if user prints 3.4 3.5 will be assigned to a but all these three are in string format right so in order to change this format we have to use a type conversion so we will see the type conversion in the next video right so whatever it may be so always the input function will take the string format next print here also whatever the text displayed text in double quotes or a single quotes anything will be considered as a normal text and display on keyboard I, I mean monitor output screen right so if you want to i mean uh, for example see print hello automatically on the display screen hello will be printed just like our printf so here uh, remember so the line should not end with semicolon right uh, that means we need not mention semicolon at the end of the line next if you want to print the value of a variable right so if you print the value of a variable on the output screen in c language we will use some types of type specifiers 
So if you if we use a percentage D in printf, uh, in the place of percentage D, the value will be printed. The integer value will be printed. If you if you use a percentage F in the printf, so the float value will be printed at the at the place of percentage F. But here, if you want to print a value of a variable, we need to write that variable in uh, I mean after the double quotes after ending the double quotes, right? So whatever the text we are writing in the double quotes will be treated as a normal text and whatever the variables I mean whatever the names we are writing outside the double quotes that will be considered as a variable a simple thing so the names writing after the double quotes will be considered as a variables see for example a is equal to 5 right if you want to print 5 simply we can write print a. So this will print 5 on the string. If you write print A, this will print A as out. Right? So if it is a, so here A is equal to 5. So direct assignment and 5 is a new number. So A will be of integer data type. Right? So 5 is a number that is also an integer. So 5 can be assigned to A here. 5 is assigned to A. So A is a variable with integer data type. Now, if A is equal to 5.4, here 5.4 is a number and that is also a floating number. So A is having a float data type. And if you print this, if you want to print this A, directly print A, you have to write. And second example, let us take text. Some name is equal to Python. So this is also a variable initialization. So the variable name is equal to Python. So here Python is a group of characters. So that will be considered as a string. So this will be considered as a character. Now, if you want to print this name, directly we can write print name directly we can get python as output if you want to write hello hello close comma plus name so if it is a string we have to use a plus to print the output so here we can get hello Right? If it is a string, we want to print in the display screen, we have to write a plus. So if, this is the first example, let us do second example, a is equal to 5. Right? If you want to print it, print a is equal to, so directly a is equal to will be printed, comma, we have to write only a, we should not write plus a. So here the plus is used only for concatenating the string. That means displaying the string on the screen. That is only used for string data. To print the value of string data. Type. Right? So in order to, if, if the variable consists of a string, then we have to use a plus in order to display. Right? So if you want to display a normal number, should write just a variable name. So a is equal to comma a. So this prints a is equal to 5. Hope you understood this print print f. I mean print function, output function. So while writing the programs, we will see more number of options in this print function and the input function. Right? So these are the just a basic input and output functions, a basic formats of input and output functions, basic syntax. So there are different parameters we can use in print print function and we can use in input function. So all the type conversions and all the different formats used in print function that will be seen in the next video. We will see in the next video. Right? Hope you understood this one. Let's say input function and output function. Input function is similar to scanf, output function is similar to printf. So here input function is input, 
output function is print. Input function always takes the string format, a data in a string format, and print print function always display the data on the screen. So whatever the text displayed in between the double quotes will be considered as a normal text and it will be displayed as it is in the screen. Right? Here the text in double quotes will be considered as a normal text, it will be it will also displayed on the screen and the data which we are assigning to the variable will be considered as a string. Right? Next, here if you if you want to print the value of a variable, we need to use uh, use that variable outside the double quotes. So if you want to display the value of a string variable, we have to use a plus. So if you write some text in between double quotes and if you want to add some value of that particular variable, if it is a character array, that means a string, we have to use this plus symbol. And if, you, if your variable consists of a numerical data and if you want to print that numerical data along with the some text, we can use a simple comma to print the output. So here hello python should be printed in this format hello so double quotes and comma plus name right and print a print a is equal to in double quotes comma a simple a so here we should not include plus right hope you understood this is a print and input functions so if you really like my videos like it and share my videos with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding uh, this python programming feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching thank you very much